the other thing that we're going to measure is we're going to measure where on the field the rocket's going to land. So I got an experiment to show you what we're going to use. It's, it's this instrument here. Basically, this is kind of like a protractor. You guys know what a protractor is? Yes. We have zero degrees and 90 degrees. Well, this goes all the way around the circle. How many degrees are in a circle? 360. 360. So, I need some. I need a. I need a volunteer. How about you? Okay. This is hard. So what? What I want you to do is go stand in the corner, face the wall. Really Is she a timeout? <laughs> okay. We're we're going to. She's looking. She's gonna look. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna use triangles. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna find something in the room, and then she's got to find it. So, <coughs> Turn well, it will help you set this up. Go make sure so I want you to put my <coughs> zero pointed at this one here. I'll put this one over here. You want this one to turn it around? Not Just rotate the whole thing until till the zero is pointing at, at me over here. Okay, I'm going to put the zero here or in the back? Uh, put the zero point towards me. You can look through the scope. Okay. All right. Now let's point to an object in the room. Okay. And just take this and point towards the object. Um, we had a verbal clue, so we might need to choose a different object in the room. Yeah. I didn't hear it. I didn't. We need it back here. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, you, what, what's your angle? 60. Okay, write down 60 on the board, and that's, write down R60. And then write down L80. Okay, and now turn your, turn your pointer back to zero. Okay, our volunteer, come forward. Okay. It's dark in the corner. Okay, come over, come over here. I want you to, to turn the pointer until it points at 80 degrees. Okay, now go over to him, that one, and point to R60. Turn it to 60. Okay, now go look through the viewfinder and tell me what it's pointing at. Go from here to here. I think I got it backwards. But look, look from here. No, you got it right. You got it right. Come line the snail up here. Put your head down. It's like a nut side. But don't touch it. Because it's... Go around that side. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Come over right okay. here. There you go. Now look through it. Okay, now look at, line this, kind of look at this nail, and then line it up so that the, the two are lined up. Put your eyeball there. Kind of get down at that level. There you go. Yeah, 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 like yeah. that. Just exactly. like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it's pointing at something. Right? It's pointing at something. Tell me what it's pointing at. Uh, <laughs> What's that thingy called? <laughs> Projector. No. Projector. Projector. Where's she here? Oh, okay. Come oh. over here. Come over to mine now. Okay. But she's right. You're you're on the right track. Now now look through mine. Guys, be quiet. No hints, okay? Yeah, look this side. Oh, look yeah. this side. <laughs> you're really close. It's the clock. It was right below the light. So you, so you see how you did that? You were able to point at that without knowing where you were because of triangles. And she was right about the projector because I'm, when I look at it now, yeah. the projector and the clock all line up. Right okay, you know. Thank you. Give her a round of applause. So that's what we're going to do on, our, on the rocket field. We're going to have, I'm going to bring in a map. And the map is about as big as this board. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to write down the angles, say the rocket. Let me draw a picture. So 
So here's, here's the launch pad. Here's the first tracking scope. Those are all the, the degrees. Does it look like all the degrees? Oh, no. Sort of. <laughs> a hairy eyeball. It's this thing right here, okay? So say the rocket lands over here. We know this distance. We know this distance. And if the rocket lands there, we put this here. This zero points to this one. And the other one, its zero will point to that one. And then we can measure the angles. This angle here and this angle there. And we'll, we can find anywhere the rocket lands. Say there's a house right here. Now the, now the rocket landed behind the houses. I can still find that rocket because I know the angles. It's just like when she was looking at, she didn't know what we were looking at, but using the angles, we can find out where our rocket landed.